People with mild hearing loss have about a 90% relative risk of dementia, whereas those with severe hearing loss, it's a 400% increase in the risk of dementia. For today's AMA, instead of focusing on one topic, we gathered some of the most common questions were asked on brain health, exercise, body composition. Are there certain exercises that are better for cognition than others if people are worried about their risk for dementia. I think an individual is always going to be better off doing more modalities than fewer. Next section, exercise. If people are doing zone two training, how much do they need to avoid going into a higher zone? I never paid attention to whether I dipped in and out of it. I talk a lot to professional cyclists and it's the same. So why do I fixate on it today the way I do? If women particular perimenopausal, menopausal women should be doing zone two training. Yeah, again, this is one of those weird things where like social media has just taken on this idea that women, especially postmenopausal women, should not do zone two. How do you think about advising people on like the number of calories they should use if they think they have either a fast or a quote unquote slow metabolism? 